As a caregiver for someone with diabetes or a diabetic yourself, you might be wondering if COVID-19 poses an extra threat to your health. Joining us to chat more about how better to prepare yourselves to avoid contracting the virus as a diabetic is Dr. Zime Shabalala, a medical doctor. Welcome to The Loft, Doc. Hi. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm very excited to touch base with you, looking gorgeous. But what I want to pick is your brain about all things diabetes. We've got our incredible Miss Holly Ray, who loudly and proudly has come out as a type 1 diabetic. But for some people who are unfamiliar with diabetes, let's start off by explaining what diabetes is. You know, for some of us who are hearing about it for the first time. So diabetes, a perfect way to explain it is that it's a chronic disease that affects the way that we utilize food. So in other words, if you're diabetic, you're not able to use food correctly, which results in high blood sugar levels. So if I can break it down in an easy way, most of the time when we eat food, it gets broken down into this simple sugar that we call glucose. And the sugar will be found in your blood and it needs to find a way to get into your body cells to give you energy. So you need a hormone called insulin which will help you get that sugar into your body cells and that will give you energy. So if you have diabetes, you're not making enough insulin or the insulin you are making isn't really efficient enough, causing you to have those high blood sugar levels. Okay, so then how do I know I have diabetes? What are the common symptoms and, and, and common signs? Yeah, so with diabetes, there are these well-known symptoms that you associate with them. So for example, if you have an increased need to go to the bathroom to pee more often or urinate more often, if you have an extreme amount of thirst, if you're constantly hungry, if you're constantly feeling tired as well, if you have unexplained sort of weight loss or blurred vision, that can sometimes suggest that you might have diabetes. But the only way that you can actually know that you have diabetes is if you go to your health care provider mm -hmm. and they'll be able to do one or more tests where they look for high blood sugar or high sugar in your urine as well. Okay, Doc, because you got me shook there for a second. We don't need any <laughs> Google doctors saying, I've got that, I've got that, maybe I've got diabetes. No, <laughs> go see a medical professional, because right now I feel triggered. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's fine. No. We all, I mean, I eat all the time as well, so it doesn't mean just because you have one of those symptoms, you have okay. diabetes. So just look for all of those and then go to your healthcare provider and test to confirm it. Okay, perfect. Now let's take this conversation a step further, Doc. Are people with diabetes more likely to get COVID-19? So what we've seen with this pandemic is that people with pre-existing health conditions like diabetes, they're more likely to get a severe illness if they are infected with COVID-19. But there's no data or anything that tells us that if you have diabetes, you're more likely to actually get COVID-19. So then, Doctor, do people with diabetes have a higher chance of experiencing serious complications from COVID-19? Yeah. So, like mentioned before, if you have a pre-existing illness like diabetes, what we've seen is that you're more susceptible to a severe complication or severe illness if you have COVID-19. But that's true, especially if your condition is not well-controlled or not well managed. So if you have diabetes and it's not well controlled or not well managed, you are at risk of getting severe complications if you have COVID-19. What's important to remember is that you should be encouraged to have an active role and want to take control of your management. So if you're diabetic, try and make sure that you are well controlled in terms of adhering to your chronic medication and listening to exactly what your doctor tells you. Mm. Speaking about managing this and keeping a close eye on it, should people with diabetes test their blood glucose more regularly during the COVID-19 pandemic? So this is a very complex question. And the reason why is if you're testing your blood sugar levels, it will always depend on the type of diabetes you have, what medication you're on, and different factors or things that you're doing in every day. So if you're exercising more, if you're stressed or you have infection. So what I would recommend is that if you have diabetes, if you're genuinely well and you don't have the potential symptoms for COVID-19, just stick to your regular sort of testing schedule. But of course, as soon as you experience those symptoms, dry cough, fever, loss of taste, loss of smell, then you can actually test your blood glucose and see what it is. 
If, of course, you're infected with COVID-19, that's totally different because you will be advised by your healthcare provider to test more regularly. So I would say it depends, but at this time, if you're well, just stick to your normal schedule. If you have COVID, you, I'm sure you already know that you have to test more regularly. Mm. I get, we surely heard doctors' orders there loud, <laughs> quite loudly. <laughs> so what do you need to know about COVID-19 if you have diabetes? And what are some of the practical tips to avoid infection for diabetics? Yeah, so I think if you're diabetic, the most important thing for you to know is that you just need to focus on being actively sort of managing your health and making sure that you control your diabetes by sticking to your chronic medication. Sticking to those lifestyle sort of changes, you always advise to do so eating healthy, exercising as well. If your diabetes is not controlled, it means that you've got high blood sugar levels. And with that, you're more likely to get diabetes, like health problems. And the issue with that is that it can make you fight in COVID if you actually get it a lot harder in comparison to everyone else. So I would say more practical tips to follow, just stay safe. So stay at home as much as possible, you know, follow those hand hygiene rules, wash your hands religiously. And lastly, just make sure that you are practicing social distancing as much as possible. So limit that contact that you have with other people because you know you have a pre-existing sort of health condition. So you wanna stay as safe as possible. Yeah. Doctor, does age play a factor in terms of who can get diabetes? So this is a very complex question because you get different types of diabetes. So you get type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes. You also get what's called gestational diabetes, which just means diabetes during pregnancy. So age isn't really a factor because if you have type 1 diabetes, like Holly Ray, for example, she developed it when she was younger. Mm. And type 2 diabetes, you usually develop that when you're not older. So age isn't a factor as to whether or not you can get diabetes. But what you need to focus on is the type of diabetes and whether you're at risk of developing it. So if you have a family history of type 2 diabetes, if you're more overweight, if you're not as physically active as you could be, mm. you could be at risk of type 2 diabetes, for example. So I think it's important that you just look at yourself and overall your health context and there you can actually see whether or not you're at risk of developing diabetes. Thank you so much for debunking the myths and things that we might have misunderstood when it comes to all things diabetes, whether you are type 1 or type 2 or wherever you are in your health journey. It seems like the rules remain the same. We have to live a balanced lifestyle, exercise, make sure to take care of our nutrition and take care of ourselves so that we can take care of those we love. Thank you so much, Doc. No problem. Thank you so much for having me. Cheers, good night. They do say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but here on Afternoon Express, we quite appreciate the medical advice. So if you have diabetes or taking care of someone with diabetes, please do connect with us on social media and let us know how you are championing it.